how's everybody doing today? It is a weird, I'd say weird product day that might, or more than might, or more than might not, help our game. Let's go. Well, guess what we have here? The pocket bunker. Pocket bunker. Look at that. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Look, I saw this on Amazon, so I had to buy it. It's not very expensive. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Non-sponsored video, I get nothing for this. I just thought it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. And he here's what we got. Inside the box comes this, this weird guy. It looks kind of like an octopus holding a golf ball. It has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got eight legs. Just like, I think an octopus has eight legs, whatever. And what's cool, it, it just grabbed my attention, okay? And so with the bunker shot, what you're trying to typically do, and instructors say this all the time, you wanna hit an inch to two inches behind the ball, inch and a half, like that's, that just drives me nuts because how am I supposed to like look exactly an inch and a half behind the ball? That's difficult. So in walks octopus bunker or pocket bunker and about, oh, an inch, an inch or more behind the ball, the legs stick out. Question is, Will this help you get better? Because so many people uh, are hesitant to practice their bunker game at the short game area for fear of hosling or thinning one into somebody's forehead. I get it. I've hit people. I still zing them over sometimes. So how can we get con And then that just jacks you up when you go on the golf course. Forget it. So. Can using this bad boy at home help you later on? That's what we're trying to find out. So the theory is here, you just hit behind the ball and sweep those legs out from underneath the the holder the, the legs just sweep try to sweep underneath it and hit the back leg which is about an inch behind the ball if you do it correctly it flies like that It's not gonna fly that far, so you can have to be careful where you do this, but okay. You can see how it gets a nice backspin. Those legs are flipping, flopping all over the place. And I'm guessing a bad shot. Yeah, that, that's a bad shot if you thin it. Here's what I like about this. As I'm addressing the ball, there's a good contrast from the blue and the white and the green. And I can see exactly and focus exactly where I want to hit the ball, where, where I want to enter the sand, which would be right where those legs end. So I set it there, and so that's all I'm focused on right there. And I've got a good feeling, visualization of where to strike. I like that. I sweep the legs. Just sweep the legs. Sweep the leg. You got a problem with that? No sensei. All right. Looking at this, hitting it a little bit, I would say if you are struggling out of the bunker and you are practicing a lot at home right now, then the pocket bunker might be something to check out. And I think something like this could really help get a confidence level so that when you go to the golf course to practice, you're not afraid to jump in the bunker and have at it. And you will start to uh, 
develop that acceleration through the ball. And what I would do, I think would be good is practice this on a mat. Because if you hit behind the ball too much on the mat, okay, what's gonna happen is it's gonna zing off to the right and that's not a good shot. So on your carpet at home, something like that, if you are too far behind it, it's gonna be a bad shot. And you learn how to get right here, right there, right there, right there. Because when you go in the bunker, if you're too far behind it, if it's hard packed sand, it bounces off and you thin it, or it just digs deep into the sand. So it could really help your sand game just to build that confidence and know exactly where you want to enter the sand. So pocket bunker, hope you guys had fun watching this little video, checking out uh, crazy little products like, like this bad boy. Interesting. Give it a check out. Love you guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you would like to see a tutorial on how to play bunker shots, I'll click right over here. Until next time, good luck out there.